Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Chef Tony. We have a new uh, a new player in the kitchen today, new novice next to the professional. I'm no today novice. Today we're making some some tacos, a nice jalapeno dip. This is all brought to you by Jack Links. It's inspired by Jack Links uh, flavors. So we have the jalapeno flavor, the sweet and hot flavor, and as we go along, you'll see exactly how it's inspired by uh, the products. So today we're making uh, sweet and hot barbacoa tacos. Once again, it's inspired by the Jack Link's sweet and hot snacks scene right there. You know um, how to read? I do. You're gonna I? need to know how to do that for this. That was, <laughs> that was so un, that was so unfunny. <laughs> today we're making sweet and hot barbacoa tacos inspired by the Jack Link's sweet and hot flavor. So we have a two and a half pound chuck roast here. Our first step is open up this bad boy, and then we're going to season it with salt and pepper. I sliced it for you already. On both sides. Just Thank you. It. Yeah, sure. Sure. Are you going to handle the meat? I can take care of the meat. You can handle the meat. I can handle He's very the good at that. All right. Well, well then you should. <laughs> What? He's very good at you that. You should, uh... <laughs> what the fuck? Watch out. Go, go to your left so I can open the garbage. Oh, how do you get this open, dude? This thing is really down there. We could actually use tongs as well instead of actually touching it. You can't even open the salt? Huh? You can't open the salt? Well, it's like really in there, dude. What the fuck's wrong with it? Dude. I got it, man. Do you need assistance? I don't have nails. Do you need assistance opening the salt? Ah. All right, yeah, generous, gener generously season that let me, master. Let me, let me put it in my hand first. We have first, the ground black pepper. Dude, you're seasoning it like it's a, a two ounce filet. That's a fucking two and a half pound chuck roast. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking, watch out. Like, like this is like, like we gotta season it nice. Like whatever, whatever seasoning you think you should be putting, you should put a little more. Dude, you are not I Ramsey. Made, I made that mistake earlier in my career. We have to do both career. sides too, and you have to, you have to get it in there. Are you gonna massage the, the spices in, or are you just gonna let them sit on the top? After, dude. Don't dude me, man. Dude. Just do it. Not yet. We need to add salt now. Dang. I can feel my cholesterol and blood pressure rising. Oh yeah. I mean, dude. Oh yeah. Even this might be a little too too little because you're crying. We can we can do this for now. Okay. And then you gotta now you gotta push it in a little bit so it sticks. Uh, thanks. You're talking to me like I gotta know more than you, and I don't like it. Dude, I'm a better cook than you. Dude, you've made one thing in your entire life, in in your entire literally in your entire life. It's not true. What else have you made? <laughs> Literally nothing. So we're seasoning it right now, and all we're gonna do is sear this meat because we're gonna put it in the slow cooker. Uh, I think we're gonna sear this, really? Yeah, we, we just sear it in the pan real quick. Oh, I like that. Get Lock in the flavor. Get a nice sear on both sides, and then there you go. See, there you go. Get out of the way, buddy. There you see, there you go. Finally, that should Next, be. Next, we need to heat a large. Here, I'm gonna heat the skillet while you do that. Yeah. Heat a skillet over medium heat. Add some oil that, with a small amount of oil. Oil that bastard. I'm gonna so right that now, bastard. I'm just trying to make sure everything's seasoned. The sides aren't seasoned as much as I want it to be. So what I'm gonna do, it's on my brain box. I'm gonna put some pepper on the board. Come on. Y'all ain't messing with my cooking game, G. I mean, you are you are more knowledgeable than Ant. Like Ant, Ant was a great student. Dude, you are not. Stop talking like you are some. I have made. I'm not. When the I'm, pan uh, reaches temperature, I've made a lot more than you. Sear the roast on all sides for one minute each side, and then place the seared roast into the slow cooker. Okay. Well, this is easy. Do I have to set the slow cooker to anything? In a medium sized, or add chicken stock and tomato paste to the cooker. Okay, yeah, I'll start I'm, doing that while you see while you season. Wait, do you have the pan on? You, you didn't yeah, turn it on. I'll it's turn heated. it on. No, but you didn't turn it on. Cause you don't know how to use the stove. It's funny. Dude, what are you talking about? The stove is not on. Riley. Oh, it is on. I'm on Mars. Sorry, I didn't see it. Dude, this guy. I didn't see you're it. You're, you I, are making cooking something I that I love unfun. I didn't see it. Just because I'm making something that you're that we're cooking unfun. You are making this unfun because of your bossiness. I'm not. <laughs> Alright, add chicken stock and tomato paste. Bossiness. How much chicken stock we need? We need two cups of that. John. So wait, do you want me to sear that while you do this? Huh? You want me to sear that while you do this? Yeah, you can do the steak. I'll start start right. working on this. Mark, 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 so mark, you're mark. creating a little slow roast uh, mark, slow roast mark, 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 mark. That's gonna be what it's is it? Chicken that? broth, man. Chicken stock and tomato paste. You need one tablespoon of tomato paste. Here you go, bud. This is for your tomato paste. I got you. Dude. Right, let's yeah. pack that. Let's pack that in there. Uh, yeah, do we have a spoon or something to help get this out? Yeah, sure, bud. Like, an, like just like a regular spoon? Yeah, just hand me one of those other ones. Uh, 
Because I don't really want to, I mean, I could, but I don't want to. What? I want to, like, finger it out. <laughs> huh? You're scared to get your hands dirty. Oh, you did it. I did it. All I right. didn't want to do it, but I did it. All right, in a medium-sized bowl, combine brown sugar and spices and stir until fully combined. Sure. Brown sugar we need. There we go. Wow. Kidding me? Three-fourths cup. Look at that. Are you combining the spices right now? That's what I'm doing. To create our sweet and hot mix. The spice is what? So you have some brown sugar, some chili powder, some chipotle chili powder, some black pepper, and some garlic salt. Mix that up, and it's actually a very simple recipe. I mean, all you gotta do is, especially with the slow cooker, you're just... Three-fourths, pour the spice mixture over the roast in the slow cooker. Okay, so you, after you're done searing that, we gotta combine all this. We should probably turn this on. Uh, what do we need to turn this to? Cook over high for four to six hours, so let's... Oh, look at that bad boy, man. Look at that beautiful sear on this beautiful chuck roast. Not talking bass. Chuck bass, gossip girl. Okay, high for four to six hours. I believe that should be on. I need two, two teaspoon chili powder. Salt to taste, so we're gonna just hit it with a little chabang. Maybe a little chabang. Everybody loves salt. Uh, two tablespoon or teaspoons chili powder. We're not going exactly measurements. We're just kind of eyeballing it a little bit. We like it a little spicy here. So we got two teaspoons chili powder, two okay. teaspoons chipotle powder. A lot of lazy chefs, they wouldn't be doing what Tony's doing. They wouldn't be sitting here with the tongs, holding it on its side, making sure every side of the chuck roast gets the proper sear. And then I wouldn't make that mistake. Half a teaspoon black pepper. We're gonna do half. And then one and a half teaspoons of salt. I better watch salt. out, I'm coming through put, over here. I probably put about half a teaspoon in already, so we'll do one more teaspoon of salt. So we have this chuck roast seared. We're just gonna add it over here to the slow cooker, carefully, no need to rush it. So that, that's a big boy. Add that in. Look at that, perfect. So now we're in the home stretch. I mean, oh. this bad boy's gonna cook for four to six hours. He's preparing the smells sweet and hot spice mix. And then yeah, we add that to the slow cooker and you just cook it on high for four to six hours and that's literally it. So the prep, all in all, probably took what, Smell 10 that? minutes? That smells great. That smells great, that doesn't smells it? astounding. It doesn't smell great, it smells fucking amazing. Yeah, that actually smells, woo, smells very nice. Okay, and then, okay, so now we just, we're gonna add all this into the slow cooker and we let it sit for four to six hours. Yep, so this cooks on high for four to six hours and you yep. can do whatever the hell you want in those four to six hours. You can play cod, or if you're like us, you can prepare this creamy jalapeno dip inspired by Jack Link's jalapeno sauce. All right, well, while that meat's cooking, we're now gonna prepare our jalapeno dip. This is inspired by Jack Link's jalapeno snacks. This also looks very simple. We have a pack of ranch mix, we have some buttermilk, some mayo. We have the jalapenos, of course, and we use some jalapeno juice. He will be cutting the jalapenos. Some, he, uh, some, what, go ahead. He asked, how do I take the seeds out? Listen, don't Make worry. Make sure you curl those fingers, buddy. Well, Our I'm, challengers team's gonna I'm, need them. I'm, I'm holding it back here. Actually, let's go one at a time just to be safe then. Curl so, those fingers, pal. We'll cut these stems off real quick. You're gonna need, a, you're gonna need to cut more than that. Have you ever eat like a whole jalapeno like this? It's hot. Raw? Or grilled or like this. Uh, not necessarily. Right. We gotta get the seeds out. I open cut that, that. Open that bang up. I cut that bastard vertically. Oh! And then you're gonna use this and you're gonna scoop that baby. You're gonna scoop that baby. Get over here. Get the hell out of here. I'm not sure if this is. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not sure if this. Let's get the knife away. Yeah, get the knife, yeah, get the knife away, you, buddy. <laughs> so our goal here is to have one to one and a half jalapenos in that food process, essentially. That's pretty much all we need. That's gonna give us plenty of jalapeno flavor. All right, now we need measure out ingredients and add everything, starting with the wet ingredients. Oh, shit. I mean, it doesn't matter. Okay, so I gotta get the buttermilk. It doesn't really matter. I mean, if, if it's all going to the food processor, I don't think it matters. And then we'll add the final jalapeno. Make to sure the that you shake your milk before use. Of course. That's How much do I need milk. in there? You need one, one third, third cup? cup of that bastard. Let me make sure you got the proper measuring tool. One third up. cup. Oh, look at that. Oh, yep, mayo's over here. That's nice and, uh, is buttermilk usually that thick? Yeah, buttermilk, it, yeah, buttermilk's thicker. Okay, and then what, else, what do we need? Two thirds of Two that? Two thirds cup mayo. Two thirds here, boom. Bang, absolutely. I don't know, you could also use the one third and just get in there and scoop it, maybe. I think that 
Nope. We're gonna go. use our spatula here. Well, you can do the mayo. I'll start with the, what and else I'm do we need? Getting, jalapeno juice. I'm just getting two thirds cup of mayo in here. Ew. Jalapeno juice. What do we need? One and one fourth tablespoon jalapeno. Jalapeno. She was just says measuring. We'll just add that in there, why not? Where's the tablespoon? There we go. Two thirds cup of mayo. Got some jalapeno juice. So there's one, and we'll do, we'll call this, we'll call that a fourth. Everyone likes, everyone likes a little jalapeno juice. Just can't go too wrong with that. Next we need tomatillo sauce. Ooh, a little tomatillo, which I'll milk this back down real quick. And this is, I'm guessing this is from the, the salsa verde. Tomatillos, obviously, used uh, in salsa verde quite frequently. We're gonna need juice of a, of a half a lime as well, so I think I can handle cutting the lime in half. We need half a cup of that, so half a cup. No, you need, sorry, yep, you're correct. I thought I said one and one half yeah, a cup, that would've been a lot. Much. I'm gonna use the bigger side of this lime too, because you can never go wrong with a little lime. Never go wrong with a little lime juice. Oh no, you can overdo lime. Just gonna squeeze that. Ooh, look at that. Woo. Go ahead. Is that it? Half cup. All right, now we need a third cup of cilantro. Where's the third cup so I can just sort of eye this? I'm not really gonna, I'm gonna measure without actually measuring that. There you go. Yeah, so I'm just gonna chop some cilantro. This is how much I need. I should be able to eyeball this a little bit. You like cilantro? I feel like people either love or hate oh, cilantro. I, I love it. People always say it tastes like soap, but I don't know what they're, I don't know what they're doing. I don't know how they think it tastes like soap. That's enough right there. Bang. Third cup cilantro in, and that's gonna be the jalapeno sauce. Now we're gonna blend that baby up. This recipe is probably one of the easiest recipes you can make. A child can do it. A moron can do it. It says puree? Yeah, uh, use blend in, in, in a food high process, blend in a food processor on the highest setting for one minute or until cilantro appears to be adequately chopped. cilantro as well. Let's see what the consistency looks like. Sure. That's nice. Look at this. Hold on. Let's make sure we get a proper... Are you kidding me? Wow. That does look nice though. I'm talking chips. I'm talking salsa on the tacos. Ooh. Whatever whatever you want to use this for, that looks nice. It's, it, tastes, it tastes great. I'll give it a little. You like that? All right, now we're going to add some... Uh, That's nice. Just know we, I put saran wrap on top of it. I didn't. <laughs> it's going in raw. He in fact did not put saran wrap. It's going wrap. in raw. All right. While the meat is, is finishing and the uh, jalapeno dip is uh, thickening in the fridge, we'll clean up and we'll be right back. All right, the meat's done cooking. We gotta get the jalapeno sauce out of the fridge. Sure. That's thickened up a little bit. We cut some cilantro and onion, and now all that's left is pre preparation. It's preparing the uh, the tortillas. Now with the corn tortilla, I, I always choose corn tortilla. Corn tortillas on the skillet heating up. Now we wait, as soon as that's heated up, we'll plate, we'll get some of the meat. Yeah, let's open this Cilantro, up. Let's get, a, let's get a reveal on our meat. This creamy you know Riley? Oh, take a look at that. Smells phenomenal. Kind of smells like my birria that I make, honestly. Mm. Those, uh, the chipotle. Get in there. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna chip it? I'm gonna chip it. Wow. It's nice. That's the same. Let me get a, let me get a little chip here. Oh, dude, that's nice. And then try the oh. jalapeno dip as well. Let me get a little chip. If I can write you a song to make you fall in love. That's nice, isn't it? That's good, dude. That's good. That's good work. Hmm. All right, now it's time to assemble. Not talking Avengers assemble. Okay, well I'm gonna do the smart thing here. We're gonna get a nice, a nice sticky on the bottom. That's that's smart, I suppose. On the bottom, get a nice base. Oh my lord, are you kidding me? Look at this tender meat. There we go. Just I want a little bit of this sauce on top. Some here of that. Go. Some of that. Here you go. Take this. I think I'm gonna go a little bit of this cheese right here. Tiny little layer. And of course, onion and cilantro. 
cilantro. I love I love onion on tacos. I love onion in general. Onion. I lost the I lost the spoon. We try it at the same time. Huh? Did we get into them? Oh my God! There are holes on the bottom. Yeah. You you have a real sad amount of meat on that. You have a really sad freaking Go ahead. strength because you couldn't even squeeze the lime out. Oh, they're falling apart. You guys have to make these. I'm not playing it up for the video. I'm not lying. Make these. It actually does taste like that too. Yeah, no. Like, we, we, it weirdly it, it, it is it weirdly very close. Tastes. I didn't think it was gonna be as close as it is, but it's it's really similar to the sweet and hot. And I know because I had two packets of these yesterday before we did our live stream. So the taste is still. Ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna do it. Thank you for watching. These were the Chuck Rose tacos. What are they called, barbacoa tacos? Barbacoa tacos, sweet and hot, jalapeno dip, incredible. Make this recipe, he's giving it a 7.7. That's his official rating. I'm giving this easily 8.59, especially considering how easy it was. All you, I mean, very, very simple. Thank you to Jack Links, of course. This tastes exactly like that, which is incredible. The, the sweet and hot barbacoa tacos and the sweet and hot jerky. I mean, it's literally, it's actually uncanny how similar they taste. So thank you for watching and let us know what you want us to cook next.